Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how I fabricated a license plate bracket out of a flat piece of stainless steel. You'll see me use some specialized sheet metal tools and techniques that you may not be familiar with. I recently installed a Warren Elite bumper and a Warren Xeon winch on the front of our 2022 Gladiator Rubicon Eco Diesel. There were existing holes on the bottom of the bumper that I was able to enlarge and add rib nuts to to attach the bracket. This video is not sponsored. All the products you see I bought myself and all the opinions are my own. Please visit Muddy Rats YouTube for more how-to, gear review, and adventure videos. The first step in fabricating something out of sheet metal is the layout. I develop a pattern using a Sharpie and a combination square. This shows where I want the bends, the holes in the bracket, and where I want to cut the metal. I'm using a powerful tool called a unishear that cuts a nice straight line in metal. Stainless steel is a tough material and cutting by hand would be very difficult. I use a center punch to make a dimple in the metal on the exact center line of the hole I wish to drill. This will prevent the drill bit from walking around and keep the holes in the accurate location. With stainless steel, it's important to drill slowly so you don't burn up the tip of the drill bit. Drilling sheet metal can be very dangerous. When the drill bit catches the metal, it's possible for the sheet metal to start spinning like a helicopter blade. This can cause serious injury. It's best to securely clamp the metal in position prior to drilling. I cut a small slice at the bend lines. This will prevent the ends from rolling and helps in achieving a nice crisp bend. If I had access to an actual sheet metal brake to fold the metal, I wouldn't need to do this. I kept the piece larger so it was easier to hold on to while I was fabricating. Now I can use the unit shear to cut along the lines and get my piece of metal down to the exact dimensions that I want it. Now that the piece is cut down to the size I needed and the holes are drilled in it, it's time to start the folding process. I'm using a tool called a bar folder. The bar folder has pockets that will allow you to bend a 1 inch bend on one side and a 3 8 bend on the other. Since the stainless steel is so tough, I need to clamp my bar folder to the table. Now I can use my vice grip tongs or wide pliers to bend the metal a little bit of time along the entire length until I reach the desired angle. I use this gauge to determine the angle I wanted from the bottom of the bumper and now I'm using it to make sure the piece matches up to that angle. Now I'll bend the small tabs I wanted on the ends of the piece. Stainless steel can be very sharp so I'll use my file to smooth out all the edges and take any burrs off the holes I drilled. I'll gather up all my hardware and check to see how it fits into my bracket. I have to enlarge the holes on the bottom of the bumper slightly to accept the rib nuts that I'm using to attach the bracket. I'll use my rib nut tool to set the rib nuts in the bottom of the bumper, but you can actually make a homemade rib nut tool out of a bolt and a couple of nuts if you need to. Now that the rib nuts are installed, I can try my bracket and see if all my measurements were correct and how my fabrication was and install the bracket and tighten the bolts. The hardware I'm using are all takeoffs from other projects. If you find this video valuable, please hit the like button, comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. My idea was to keep the license plate out of the way of the winch, but when we go off-roading in this Jeep, we'll be able to remove two bolts and get the license plate out so it doesn't get damaged. Well, I got a homemade license plate bracket. It's working for now. I may consider this a prototype. It's on there. I didn't have to order anything. Not as perfect as I would have liked. I got rid of the plastic bumper that came stock on the Jeep Gladiator. And now we have a winch and a nice bumper that's going to give us a lot more confidence to go off road in this vehicle. All your support is greatly appreciated. I'm hoping to grow this channel to a thousand subscribers in 2023. Thank you very much.